we're asked to consider the given function and determine the general antiderivative. The general antiderivative is big F of x plus c, where c is in a constant, and the derivative of big F of x is equal to the given function f of x, which means we need to determine the indefinite integral of the given function f of x. So we have the integral of seven divided by x minus four e to the x. When we integrate seven divided by x, we need to be careful. Seven divided by x is the equivalent to seven times x to the power of negative one. And a common error is to try to apply the power rule of integration, but notice how the power rule of integration does not apply when n equals negative one. Because notice how if we did try to apply the power rule, we would have seven times x to the power of negative one plus one, which is zero, and then we'd have division by zero, which is undefined, which is why we can't apply the power rule when the exponent, when the exponent on x is negative one. Looking at our other integration formulas, notice how the integral of one divided by x is equal to natural log apps of i of x plus c. This is the integration formula that applies to integrate seven divided by x. If it's helpful, we can think of seven as seven times one. The integral of seven divided by x is equal to seven times the integral of one divided by x, which is seven times natural log apps of i of x plus c, but we'll leave the plus c until the very end. And then we have minus the integral of four times e to the power of x, which is equal to four times the integral of e to the x, and the integral of e to the x is equal to e to the x plus c, and therefore we have minus four e to the x, and then plus c. This is the general antiderivative of the given function, which means if we differentiate this function, we will get the original function f of x, and you may want to check this. I hope you found this helpful.